I hope that you are having a great day. It is really nice here in Charlotte. It's actually in the 60s and it's sunny and it's warm. So that's a big change from the rain and the flooding that we had yesterday. And I will most certainly take it. So recently I showed you guys how to make a desk calendar for 2019. And um, I want to show you how to make another style of that calendar. For those of you who don't have a cinch machine and weren't comfortable possibly using the template that I included, there is an alternative way that you can also have a DIY desk calendar that's just as cute as the one that I um, have here. And that is what I am going to show you. So whenever it's possible for me to show you guys alternatives to what I am making, I will and I'll give it my best shot. So here is what I came up with for this one. So it too is a desk calendar. It sits on a little platform and it is not a flip calendar, but it's actually a tear off calendar. So we're going to make this together and I'll show you exactly how we create the tear off look. So I have already cut out and foiled all 12 calendar pages to save us some time because we did do that in the other video and that's not um, necessary for us to do it again because here are the pages as they will print out. So you will have four on a sheet and when you cut them out, I don't know if you can see the little lines that are in there, but those are guidelines for you to cut and trim. So when you do that, you're going to end up with 12 months that measure four and a quarter by five and a half. And if you want to foil them and you don't have a foiling machine, you could actually print this out and take it to Staples, Office Depot, the UPS store. All of those guys have laser printers and they print black and white copies um, pretty reasonably. It's color copies that really cost but the black and white print costs are pretty reasonable. So that is an alternative if you want to try foiling. And when I am foiling, I prefer to use deco foil. I think that it just goes on very well. It gives you a very vibrant color. And um, it's very easy when you're using it through the laminating machine. With others, I've found that they don't grab onto the ink as well and they're not as vibrant. So when I am doing foiling projects, for me, it's going to be deco foil. And they're not paying me to say that, it's just that from experience, this is my foil of choice. So I've got my 12 months here and I want to take the 12 months and just go ahead and mount them to a piece of chipboard and it's a lightweight chipboard and this chipboard is going to measure four and a quarter by five and a half. And all I'm doing is I am trying to get the end of the chipboard and the end of the paper to be pretty even here and even on the sides also. So then I want to take a scrap piece of paper and lay it down, lining it up as well because it is going to be my protector sheet for what I'm about to do. So let me just check this. I'm making sure that I have even sides or as even as I can get them. So I'm going to place my clips as close to the top as I can, but I don't want them at the top because I am going to be using my glue gun here. So what I want to do next is I want to take my glue gun and then I'm just going to position it here and run a bead of glue across. And then I'm going to take this popsicle stick. You can use a card or an old credit card, an old business card. And all we're doing is working that glue in. And you can see why I put a protector sheet on because the glue might run over. So once my glue is dry, I'm going to come back one more time and add another layer of glue. And then I'll take my popsicle stick. I'll come this way this time. 
and all I'm doing is scraping off the excess glue. And now I can remove my clips and I can also remove this sheet. So I'm just going to hold it and tear away. And that's how it will be for this calendar. So every part of it is a tear away. So all I'm doing now is just cleaning up where any glue might have come over the edge and might be interfering with the cuteness of this calendar. So I'm just going along and going along and snipping off any overhang. And then I'm going to come on the back and do the same thing. Okay, so there we go. So now we've got a tearaway calendar that we can now mount. So we've got this and you can see that it's mounted to the chipboard. And what I want to do now, I'm going to go ahead and just turn this off and move it over out of the way. I am going to take a piece of heavyweight cardstock, not heavyweight, medium weight, I'm sorry, that measures four and three quarters by six. And all I'm going to do is glue it up and then just place it down like so. And then I'll go over it with my bone folder just to kind of work that glue into the paper. And I'm gonna trim off. I'm going to snip in the corners. And I will place some glue here just to get this stuck. something that I can wipe some of this glue up with. It's really sticking to my hands. It makes it very hard to work when that happens. And I want to put down a liner piece. And I'm just going to Cut this, free cut it, and I'm going to measure it. And I'll just glue it down. Place this here. And there, so we've got our back done and we've got the front done. So this is the mount for for the um the calendar. And you can see on this one, I made this one, 
And on this one, I put corner protectors and I'm not going to put corner protectors on this because not everyone has them. So I want to make this without um, having any corner protectors show at all. My phone is very active today. Sorry about that. That was my reminder to take my medicine. So we'll put this here, but we want to make sure that it is able to sit up at an angle and you can see how this one is sitting at an angle. So what I did on this one was I didn't really have anything that would make an angle. So I decided I would use some of these pearls. They're flat backs, but I mounted two together and created those cute little feet. So use what you have. Just take a look around your craft room and see what you have and see what you can use on the back of this to make it um, sit up. So what I decided I would do this time is I'm actually going to mount the back to this little gold bullnose paper clip. And let me get some adhesive to be able to do that. So all I'm going to do, let me turn this over, is I am going to place the adhesive where this would actually sit. So I know it's going to sit there, it's going to touch there, it's going to touch here at the bottom, and it's going to touch here. So all I'm doing is placing some adhesive that will dry clear, and I um, ordinarily use my E6000 for this, but I didn't have it out, and I did have this other glue handy, and I'll show you what it is in just a minute. So what will happen is when you tear away the month of December, just flip it over and you've got a mini clipboard. So this is the adhesive that I use and it's a lot it's from Loctite and it's a power grab and it's adhesive for, um, it's a construction adhesive, but this tube was like $5 and it grabs everything. So it's like, it says a zero second instant grab. It really does grab very quick. It's very thick, so I have to spread it on, but it does work. So now what I'm going to do is take my calendar, place some glue right here at the top, And then all I'm going to do is just, I'm going to pick it up for a second so that I can center it. And then I'm going to press down on it. I'm going to come back and scrape off that little bit of glue. See, it will show clear, but it'll, it'll be a hump there. So now I've got two really cute desk calendars that I like. And then my final step is going to be, I'm just gonna tie a ribbon around this for cuteness. I'm not gluing the ribbon down because I don't want it to stay, but I'm putting it on here because I will probably give these away. And when I do, I want them to be pretty. So there, um, I hope that this has given you some ideas on how you can create a nice desk calendar, even though you might not have um, access to a cinch maker. You can do it using this method, and then you can also look around your craft studio, see what you have that you can use as feet for the back and just cre get creative with it. But I hope you'll give this a try and have fun. Thanks guys, talk to you later, bye.